I think we're pretty excited to do some science here, Liz. Yay! All right, what are we doing today? Today we're going to do a couple super fun experiments with <coughs> eggs, and I can see you guys already checking these out. Now, do you think eggs are weak or strong? Strong. Both. In the middle. Both. Both. You're right. Because it's strong on the outside because it's the shell, and smoothens inside because it's yolk. And why do they need to be kind of strong? Who sits on eggs? Chickens! Yeah! And you don't want the eggs to break, right? <laughs> Their architecture is really strong, and you can feel these shells are really hard. The cool thing is, if you have some vinegar at your house, do you remember the scientific name for vinegar? Acetic acid. Acetic acid. acid. Yeah. If you put vinegar over raw eggs, do you guys want to help me? Can you help me lift up this heavy vinegar thing? Yeah, awesome. I can take your eggs. And you put them in the fridge for a couple of days. Now watch these eggs as we're talking about this. Do you see anything? What's forming on the eggshells? Can you see little bubbles starting to form? Yeah. Uh, there is a plants. chemical reaction between the vinegar and can you guys say calcium carbonate? Calcium, calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate crystals in the shells. And the vinegar breaks these crystals apart and actually dissolves the outer shell. Now these have been sitting since last night. What do they feel like? Tell people what they feel like. They feel like a orange. They feel kind of like an orange that's yeah. been peeled off, you know, like oh, yeah. if you peel off the skin, it looks and feels like an orange. Except a little stronger. Yeah, so this see this, this has like, like a, a feel like a water balloon. It's like a balloon like membrane that's under the shell that helps protect the eggs. It's like a water balloon. Now what do you think would happen <laughs> if we sucked some of the water out of this membrane? It would be um, not what? slimy anymore. Do you think it would just kind of shrivel up? Maybe. You can actually use corn syrup. Watch this. These are some eggs with the shells dissolved. You can actually use corn syrup to mm -hmm. shrivel up your eggs. And my kids and I call these alien monster eggs once they're shriveled up. Do you guys like food coloring? They just like shriveled up. <gasps> it takes probably over, okay, go ahead and put some drops in. It probably takes overnight before they start to really shrivel up. Yeah, here, go ahead and put it in. Can you drip it in there? And let's stir it up a little. Oh, it's cool, and it's kind of fun to mix it up with a straw. Do you want to mix it up? Oh, could I mix it up since you put Yeah. So what happens is there's not as much water in the corn syrup, so the water actually moves through the membrane of the egg, out into the corn syrup, and the eggs shrivel up. So how cool do you think that is? Alien awesome. monster eggs. These are super fun to make at Halloween. They're a cool centerpiece. That's amazing. Yes, these are awesome. So... Another fun experiment you can do with eggs, eggs is an atmospheric pressure experiment. Can you guys say atmospheric pressure? Atmospheric pressure. All right. And to do this experiment, is this egg raw? Feel it. Is this egg raw? It's hard boiled. It's hard boiled. So we have some hard boiled eggs. Can you set that on top of this glass bottle for me? Oh, I think I know what's going to happen oh. here. Can you set this one I in here? I do too. I do too. They don't really go into the bottle easily, do they? I'm not going to force them. But we can use atmospheric pressure to push these eggs up into these bottles. Now I'm going to grab this towel. Do how, how do you do think it? you do it? What do um, you do? It's going to like, it's going to get like squishy and go. And how do we get the atmospheric pressure to push it into the bottle? Um, can you put this candle in the end of the egg? Poke it right in the end. And I'm going to give you two candles too. Happy, okay. can you help her? Wait, Poke wait, it in. Wait. Stab it Probably in. in the small end of the egg. Yep, okay. stab it in right in the end. Here's stab another it. one. Do we need more than one? We should put two in the end right next to each other. Oh, there's a pink and yellow oh, one right perfect. there. We're going to okay. put two white ones here. Let's we'll use the pink. Yeah. Oops, the yeah. wick, the okay. wick of, has to be up, the wick of the candle, because we're going to actually light these candles. Okay. So. Now, what happens, do you think, if you light these candles and you put them up in the bottle, what happens to the air in the bottle? I haven't lit it. Well, it's going to, like, trap it and it's then it's going to blow heat. out. It's going to heat and then the egg's going to fall in. Right. So it heats up the air in the bottle. And then what happens? Does When you burn stuff, does it use oxygen up? Yes. Yeah. And what happens when all the oxygen disappears in the bottle and the candle doesn't have any more? What happens to the candles? Um, it, it happens. It, it, it like burns out. It burns well, out. Well, yeah. everything needs oxygen. And yes. If I didn't have oxygen, it just blow out. Exactly. And it'd be dark. It goes out. And when it goes out, the air cools off really fast. Science have you? Really. This is awesome. When it, the air cools off really fast, the pressure inside the bottle drops. Now, you've heard of the atmosphere, right? Can you guys say atmosphere? Yeah. Atmosphere. It's evolved. all. And it's, atmosphere yeah. is part of global warming. Oh. Well, some gases are, yes. But the atmosphere around us, it's kind of like we live under a giant swimming pool of air, and we're at the bottom, and all this air is pushing down on us. And we're used to it, because our bodies are built so that they can survive in this atmospheric pressure. But this pressure will actually push 
up on this egg and push the egg into the bottle. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna light our candles. All right. Happy and I are going to hold these and you guys are gonna gently set the bottles on top. Okay, wait for me to light mine. Okay, you're gonna turn your bottle upside down. But my hands are full of yolky stuff. That's okay, who cares? It's fun to get messy once in a while. Okay, now what you're gonna do, that's okay, there's a little water in it. We're gonna put it on top and we're not gonna, we're just gonna gently hold it up here. We're not gonna push it at all. Just gently hold it up. Okay, now watch for oh the candles gosh. to go out. Can you see that? Yep. Okay, watch. Oh, they're burning up the oxygen. They're burning up the oxygen. Okay, now what's happening to the egg? Oh my gosh. What's happening? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, is yours, yours, let's see. Oh, yours didn't work. We might have to light it again, but how awesome is that? That is atmospheric <laughs> pressure. Oh my gosh. Did it make a loud noise? Ella, I was here for you. I was here. Okay, that one's not working. We might have to try again. Do science experiments always work on the first try? No. No, sometimes they take lots of tries. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't work. Just try it again. Oh my gosh. So those are two fun experiments you can do with stuff you have around your kitchen. It's all about eggs today. It's all about the eggs. Thank you so much, Liz. It's all about the eggies, eggies, To eggies. learn more about Chandler's singing ability. No. To learn more about the experiments we did today and to find Liz's book, visit our website. Up the oxygen. Okay, now what's happening to the egg? Oh my gosh. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. What's happening? <laughs> to the egg. Oh my gosh. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs>